In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can capture Kavidon if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet or Maridon if you're playing Pokemon Violet. Unfortunately, they are virtual exclusive Pokemon. You're not able to capture both of them within one singular copy of the game. You will need to either trade with a friend or complete a separate copy of the other game to be able to find one of your own. You're going to want to have defeated the post game. We're not going to talk too much about the post game just in case you guys haven't got there yet. But that does include beating the three main storyline arcs throughout the main story of the game that includes the path of legends victory road as well as starfall street effectively you will know if you've beaten the post game because the credits will roll you're also going to want to buy enough pokeballs to actually be able to capture it 42 ultra balls and 20 dusk balls is absolutely overkill we won't need that much but we didn't want to risk not being able to catch it because we've run out of pokeballs at this point in the game you will have the master ball but i don't recommend you use it to capture either of the legendary Pokemon, it isn't worth it. There's much better Pokemon you can use it on, such as shiny Pokemon, stuff like that, which shiny Pokemon should be more frequent for you. Now, once you have done all of that, you're going to want to head to Area Zero, the great crater of Paldea. That is where you encounter the legendary Pokemon in both games, Coridon in Scarlet, Maridon in Violet. You're going to want to head to the very, very bottom of this crater that is the location of this and if you follow me you will see exactly how to get there quite easy to get there you just jump down here and then a loading screen will activate because of course it can't load an entire new area like as well as the rest of the map that completely makes sense Koraidon and Maraidon are found at level 72 and at this point in the game, you're able to use the Koraidon or Maraidon you've got in your party in battle, but you technically can't use it, uh, you can't like send it to Pokemon Home and whatever once those services are available. So you will want to capture this for yourself. We're just going to head down, we're going to just glide down here so we can uh, get to the bottom faster. Let's carry on. We jump down here. This should be the correct posi positioning, if I can get my words out correctly. You will also be seeing a ton of uh, Paradox Pokemon. We're going to do a separate guide on how to capture all of them. But for now, we're focusing on Coridon and Maridon. So around here, in fact, we have landed that almost perfectly as we watch a Gibble fall to its death. Absolutely horrifying stuff. Horrifying scenes right there. This is where you encounter... Coridon or Maridon. Let's do it. Let's encounter it. Maybe I should have threw a Pokeball at it. That would have been interesting to see if that worked. Here is Coridon. If you're playing Pokemon Violet, I can't stress this enough. This will instead be Maridon. You guys all know that. You guys know how Pokemon games work at this point. So, if you're playing Pokemon Scarlet, Coridon will appear. Fighting Dragon, excellent attack, excellent speed. Coming at level 72. Make sure you bring something that's able to resist, say, Giga Impact. It's also got bulk up so it can boost its attack and defense further. This is going to be difficult. If you're playing Pokemon Violet, this will be Maridon with excellent special attack and speed. Electric Dragon, just overall, they're legendary Pokemon. What can I say? They are absolutely incredible Pokemon. So... Didn't do too much to our Skeledurge. Level 70 Skeledurge is actually a pretty perfect counter for this. Giga Impact is resisted. Uh, it does have, I believe, Fire Blast or Flamethrower, which, of course, Skeledurge resists. Absolutely amazing Pokemon for this. So, special defense falls, unfortunately. We're going to Torch Song and hope this doesn't KO it. If it does, that will be very embarrassing. Make sure you save in front of it as this is the one and only one you can encounter. That is perfect, as long as we don't burn it, which I don't think you can with Torch Song anyway. And now we are going to chuck Ultra Balls. Again, I stress, do not use your Master Ball on this. It just isn't worth it being able to save in front of it and not risk it, it, it's low stakes you want to use your master ball on a pokemon with high stakes high risk having the ability to flee we get a critical capture there super super nice there we go that is how you capture coridon in pokemon scarlet or maridon in pokemon violet how many times can i say that seems to be the winged king mentioned in the expedition journal set to uh 
There we go. Perfect. Um, we'll check its summary. We'll see what attacks it has, just so you guys can be better prepared. Giga Impact, Bulk Up, Collision Course, which again is a fighting type, so Skeletage is just perfect. We get an Adamant Nature as well, which is the perfect nature for this Pokemon. Uh, maybe you'd want Jolly as well. Super happy with that, uh, Kavidon. There we go. Uh, that is how you do that. If you found this video helpful, a like would be really, really appreciated. If you didn't enjoy it, a dislike. Feel free to dislike and leave a comment. There we go. Everything's done. Appreciate you watching.